Welcome to Cole Fellows Art Channel. Uh, sorry, it's a bit weird to set up, but I'm literally going to make something. So this is why the camera is a bit on an angle. Um, but this is going to be a gift for someone because um, when I had no job, um, this person gave me a job. And in my mind, I was going to I was going to make this. But then um, things popped up and of course I didn't make it. So in this video, I'm going to make a aubergine. Well, a flying over machine, if that makes sense. So um, I'm going to crack on because I don't have a lot of time because I do have work later tonight in two hours. So I kind of want to get this done like within an hour or less or much less, you know. So uh, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to put a little bit of music on so I'm not bored. Um, basically, tin foil. And you say, why have I got, why have I got tinfoil? So I won't be using as much clay. And it won't be so heavy. Uh, excuse me. So what I want to do is just get the shape of the machine. Excuse me. I blame the Coca Cola. Uh, hope things are going well for you guys. I uh, today has not been so bad. So um, um, so I'm gonna make this. Every machine is kind of a bit of a weird shape. It's kind of a bit like a teardrop, if that makes sense. Like a, when you draw a cartoon drip, teardrop. It kind of depends how big I want it. I think I might make it a little bit bigger. That'll do, because you also got to think about um, time you put the clay on, and it's gonna be like, you know, like that. Oh wait, my thumb's in the way, so it's gonna be even wider. So you got to think about it. Time you put the clay on, it's just gonna make it a little bit bigger. This is for later. God, I'm really thirsty. I should drink water, but. I'm in a good mood, so I'm going to drink a can of cake. <laughs> clay, air drying clay. <laughs> Two months, it's still good. You're a baby? You're okay? Okay. Shit. Hang on a minute. Let me. So, you can. Wow. Ah, uh, it's posted. Oh, wait, what was it not spinning? Oh, there you go. Actually, that's kind of annoying me now. to talk about literally uh, with the the tinfoil being all crinkly and winkly uh, the clay will stick to it so all you got to do is just push it on you know it's not really I'm looking at the camera you don't really need to see what you're doing and now I'm gonna look at what I'm doing <laughs> I also got a picture up on the computer for a little bit of reference, just in case I get a little bit off track. But um, we see how things go, because uh, Aubergine is quite a simple design. It's not very complicated. It's not like grapes or anything. And if you don't know what Aubergine is, 
hopefully, if you watch this video, you will know. I never actually tried that over machine. Well, I don't think so. I never actually bought it, so <laughs> someone may have snuck it into my food, but <laughs> I don't know. I just never bought it. Quite simply, you could just going around, smooth out the clay. Well, not really smoothing out the clay. It's more of what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to even out the clay. Just going around. Don't know why. No, I don't know why I ripped that bit off. I use that for sign cows. Um, yeah, I'm kind of talking to myself, so <laughs> I don't. My dog's being a good girl. Um, what shall we talk about whilst I'm doing this? Because all I'm is, you can, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Oh, I do have some good news. Uh, well, the bad news is, is actually um, my old phone broke. Uh, I was using that to make videos. And... Every 30 minutes, I have to um, send it to my computer because I don't have enough memory on my phone. But um, I really needed a phone so I can apply for jobs and ring up for jobs and, you know. And uh, so I've got a new phone. And it's quite a new phone. It's quite powerful. And it's got a lot of memory. So hopefully I don't have to do this in parts. Hopefully I can just make one video. You know how annoying it is when you're like filming and you look and like, when did the camera stop? When did it stop? Oh, about 20 minutes ago. So, you know, that's 20 minutes of work. I beat was, it's not a waste, but, um, <laughs> you know, it's like you're supposed to be recording and you run out of memory and it's like, damn it. It's, trust me, uh, this is quite light, actually. Seeing I'm not using a lot of clay, it seems it's um, kind of hollow. The tinfoil is quite light, so this is this is why I used it. So I won't be using as much clay, and uh, it won't be so heavy. And I think I've got the shape kind of wrong. But I don't know, let's, let's just do a quick video. Because in the past, I seem to take my time. So, <laughs> we just see how things will go. Because I'm in the habit of taking my time, but I should be really... Um, Speeding things up, you know, because I don't want to take ages when a simple thing, you know But you you guys can it's up to you um, And the reason even though I'm putting putting bits on the another reason why I'm spreading this out so you can actually mix the this Let's say that's old clay and this is new clay so what I'm doing is mixing the new clay with the old clay. So I don't want it to leave it like that because then when it dries, um, you'll get cracks. So what you have to do is literally kind of, you can see right there, right there. It's gone smoothed in, where that one hasn't. So if I go, shh, 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 that's what you kind of want to do. So you just keep it going. I put a little bit of force so it will mix in with the other clay. Keep it together. Keep it around. But whatever you got in your mind, it might be completely different. You, I don't know. Um, let me see. I think I'm getting a little bit off track. I need to put a lot more. 
Um, on the bottom. So I put this at the bottom because the base, the bottom is much wider than the top. So I just put a block there and then just smooth the edges out to the top of the overshine. Sorry, is, I should be sitting on a little bit of an angle here so you can see it a little better. So you can also, excuse me, uh, if it's too much at the top, just smudge it down, smudge that up. And I think I might need more clay. Oh, that cake cola is really repeating on me. I'm not really going to um, do a time lapse video or a put music over it or anything. Well, yes, you might be able to hear this, so I'm not quite too sure. Okay. So I want this bit, the top bit, to be a little bit thinner, so I'm going to smudge this up. You know, keep turning it. Um, remember it is air drying clay so the longer you have it out and the more it's touching your hands it will dry out quicker but depends on what you're doing you can always just uh, wet it with some water round it out because the oversheen is quite uh, smooth and round so you just want to make sure there's no bumps. And I need more clay. So it, it also what depends what you're doing or what you're planning to make. You could, uh, it might be a good idea to use some tin foil. Uh, because I've this is not the only thing I'm going to do. So it's been 13 minutes. I've still got time. <laughs> I don't really want to be late for work because I haven't really got a lot of hours because that my hours kind of been cut because of Christmas and is over. It's funny that you get all psyched for Christmas. Everyone's got the hours. Everyone's got the money, and then after Christmas, is, it changes. All right, I think that looks okay. No, it needs a little bit more. Let me bend it up a little bit. Uh, oh, I, I wasn't lying when I said um, uh, when I took time off YouTube and social media, kind of sort my life out and sort my head out. Um, I've, I'm always thinking. So, like, what what I was thinking with this does that kind of look like a machine? We see. Is wire. This is what this is for. Ah, <laughs> oh, Averts, I swear to God, 
I want to know a proper survey, like of someone's lifespan, on how many adverts the average person person watches. Like every time you watch a video, there's an advert. Every time you watch a TV, there's an advert. I swear to God, you probably watch more adverts in your life and then the actual any type of program or TV show. And yeah, um, about nine out of 10, the adverts are crap. <laughs> I would never like, oh yeah, men shavers. They like share a car, share a man shaving. And then it's like, I don't want that. But of course they put it on your TV kind of but then again there are some things like oh never seen that before but most of the time it's like no I want that bit to be flat because I need that to be I might just do that at the end See, I'm going up and down. So you smooth it out to blend it all together. So that needs to be flat. Is that Avert coming up? Avert! Every time! It'd be easier just to re-click on it, you know? Alright, that's that. What I'm actually planning to... Hmm, actually... I think it's... It needs to be more round that flat because seeing it's um um sitting down it's not gonna you, you want to make it look round even though it's got a flat bottom wait did i get off track I don't know, because I was saying something, and I think I was leading up to something, and I totally forgot. So. No. Don't throw stuff away, because probably in your next one, you may want something that size. No. Um... I'm putting the clippers, hold it. Twist. 
so the wire is thin, but if you twist it, it you're doubling up on it. So it should be stronger. I need to cut two off. Right, there goes a bit, bit in focus. Yeah, perhaps I'm getting a bit tired. Cause I kind of, I got a feeling that I was getting skin say something. And I thought, I don't know, no, no. Ignore me. Don't ignore me. I mean, I mean, watch what I'm doing. Listen to what I'm saying. Have a cup of tea. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm definitely tired because I'm talking rubbish. So I've got two of these. So I made two quickly. And what I'm planning to do, um, oh yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Yeah, that's what I was, um, did I say it? I don't know. Um, even though I haven't been doing much, I have been, um, you know, lazy thinking, like I'm gonna, gonna make this, but how I'm gonna make it. And I thought, uh, thought of a way which is two steps so far you've seen basically tin foil clay and a bit of wire um well maybe that was a better size I don't know. Let's see. Let's go wild, yeah. Let's go wild. Let's let's It's not really wild, is it? I'm crazy wild and I'm not <laughs> Yeah, that was actually a better size. See? If I throw that away, I had to recut the wire. A bit of waste. So I, I didn't waste it, I saved it. And I think what I'll do, I'll put that there for our side counts. And I will cut this one down to this size. Because I did make this bit too big. So let me measure it up with this one. So it is the same size. Well, I'm not really doing much, I'm just, I'm just holding them. Bend it, so I need to cut it up there. <clears throat> Save it. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is have so you might be able to see it you see what the hole but I'm planning to actually maybe I should have it um oh no I want it how would I Uh, actually, press me, but I didn't think this through.
Nope. I'm actually starting to think this may be a bit too small. A little bit too small. So keep that. So what I've done here is, oh, I don't know what Alex, don't really know what it looks like, but like that, if that makes sense. And then, uh, Clay on top, like smudge in where the wire is. You'll see why I'm using the wire. Because um, what I'm going to make here, it will need some type of support on the inside. But I won't say you don't have to get in too much detail right now because um when it dries you, you kind of have to push a little bit harder and it dries more you have to push harder and harder but that's a good thing because sometimes the clay is too soft but you can work with it as, as it dries What is he doing? What is he making? Okay, that's a bit too much there. Not, I mean, not, not too much, it's not enough there. So what is he making? Can you guess what I'm making? I told you I'm making an overshine. But what am I doing on the sides? Hmm? What am I... What am I... See, look. So I accidentally... Seen the clay still soft. I accidentally just did that. I just did that. Because the clay is still soft by accident. But, right, so put this on up here. Smooth it out, let's blend it in. Like some people will say, why are you do why are you gonna give this away? And uh, you know, what's the point? Well one is I'm actually I never actually done this before, so I'm learning sync. Two, it's always nice to give a gift. Especially if you made it yourself, you know, it's like, it's not like he just went out and bought it. Because you can't buy this, because I'm literally making it right now. But, you just want the, uh, the clay where you want it, and then I will go over it. I will go over it and put the detail in. So you just want the clay uh, where you want the clay. You do the detail work later. 
And when I say layer, and I mean in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And then I've got an hour to get ready and then go to work and get to work. What am I doing on the sides? Can you guess what I'm doing? What's wrong? She's okay. Well, I'm hoping this will go according to plan. This is actually not going according to plan. <laughs> But you can do you can do it your way. Basically, I'm just making something for someone, and I'm just posting the process if that makes sense. Because I need to put more videos on YouTube. I need more clay. I read. I don't know, this kind of reminds me of something, but I can't think what. Is that enough or should I put more clay? Um, well, I definitely need to put more clay up here. Seriously, I mean, what's the point of listening to music on YouTube when it's just hour after hour? <laughs> so many averts. What I'm actually going to do here, I won't be smoothing it out so much because I kind of, um, it's going to be leaves here. So I'm going to be taking away the clay. So I just need, want to add the clay there. Yeah. 
Keep putting it on. Oh, wait. I'm <laughs> syncing it with that. Uh, um, I can't really want someone to talk to because I'm just kind of rubbish trying to make this entertaining. And I can hear my dog snorking like a pig. But this is uh, this bit up here is going to be the stem. And seeing the stem is going to be thinner than the bottom. Um, best way to describe it is you kind of need to know the thickness of the clay before it cracks. So if you have it like that, that's fine. It'll dry like that. But then if you have like um, something like that, when it dries, it can easily snap. Look, that just snapped then. So you kind of need the small part of the clay to be enough thickness. So when it dries, it won't crack, but then you don't want it to do too big and the portion of everything won't, it just, you know, so you just kind of got to, if you make that too big, the best way to solve it is by adding more clay here. Cause then it'll look right, if that makes sense. But right now I'm just doing this. I think school here is finished because there's a bunch of kids walking past. You know, I'm starting to think maybe I should have uh, put a little bit of wire in there to um, reinforce it, like what I did here, if that makes sense. And I need a picture again. And... All right, it does have stem, but it really gets cut off. So you don't, I don't really need it that long. Well, that's a good picture. I think what I'll do is leave it like that. Actually, this is actually might be turning into an hour's job when I said I was going to do it in 30 minutes. It's not really going to turn out in 30 minutes.